Hey, how are we doing, boys? I was welcome to the video. So today on Solar DMZ, I'm going to show you the most easiest way possible to kill the sniper and unlock the stealth vest barter. This is so easy that you're not even going to run against any players. You're going to bypass most of the kind of like harder bits of the complex. And we're going to go straight to the sniper. And we don't even have to kill the rhino. We're just going to kill the sniper with a bomb drone. And then I'm going to show you that you can die. And I'm going to purposely die just to show you that this still counts even if you die. All right. The only few things you're going to need is you're going to need a bomb drone. I would most probably say, you know, just do a regain. Make sure you're kitted up. Make sure you have a bomb drone. Just go around the buy stations until you find one to buy. And I would also bring in a rebreather. So either craft one and then extract. So you kind of refill it. Because when you craft a rebreather, it only gives you one use. So you can craft one and then just extract ready to go in to do the mission. Yeah. But you want to make sure you have a rebreather on you. I would bring stims. And I would bring a shotgun. The shotgun is going to help greatly against any of the PVE we run into. And the KV broadside is still a melt machine when it comes to PVE. All right. So if you want to see the build for this, we call it the dirt build. All right. We're running the 25 shell drum mag. We're running the dragon's breath ammo tuned for recall steadiness and damage range. We're running the SA MX 50 muzzle tuned for bullet velocity and slightly for aim down sight you can just pause this if you need to if you want to copy the build um and then we've got the barrel which is the gunner d20 tuned for damage range and recoil steadiness and then last but not least we've got the laser this is the g3p04 laser um, tuned for hip fire spread and sliding hip fire accuracy all right so that is the build we're going to bring in you're more than welcome to bring that in is a very, very, very good build. All right. What I would also advise doing is just bring in a little bit of cash from your wallet. Um, I can't actually, I need to upgrade my wallet because I've got the maximum. So I'll just keep building up cash, but bring in about, you know, a thousand to two thousand quid with you. So you can just stop off at a buy station and buy a load of plates um, and maybe like an extra self revive or something. Yeah. So just bring in some money so you can purchase some plates and a self revive. Um, so, you, you know, it's, it's all good. But you don't even have to worry about doing that even straight away because we can use the buy station at the actually at the complex. And that's what I'm going to personally do. I'm just going to go straight to the complex and then buy, use the buy station at the complex. All right. So this is the loadout we're going to do. Let's get straight into the game and find ourselves a vehicle so we can get to the complex. Explore, secure intel and loot to gain access to new missions. Enemy oh, right. So here we are. Contact. We're going to find ourselves a vehicle. The fastest one available is actually the heli. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So let's go and grab that heli and um, get over to the complex. Again, I'm not going to use a buy station anywhere. I'm just going to go straight towards um, the actual complex itself. I think that's just a little bit easier. I'm going to grab this vehicle to drive to it so we don't run into thing. Thing is, I've noticed, if you notice how accurate the AI is, they literally like down you um, and shoot you and reduce all your health. Even when you're in a vehicle, like r really fast, it's ridiculous. So let's just go straight there. Right. Nice. We didn't really use too much of our plates, which is what I wanted. And for anyone who's uh, watching from the stream last night, yeah, I am having to do this again because I watched the um, footage back and my uh, mic didn't have like any sound suppression. So my fan was playing and it just sounded really bad. Um, also, I just wanted to do it more perfectly in the sense of showing um, using, you know, an actual gun because in the stream version we done, um, we had loads of gl bugs and glitches happen. You know, good old season four of DMZ is very buggy. 
Um, so I wanted to kind of do one which wasn't buggy. So here we go. So we're going to just fly over here. This is where you want to come. So before we jump, you just want to go underneath this bridge here, which is at the top. All right. That's up the top of the thing. I'm just going to fly down. And in we are. Gonna reload just in case there is people here. Normally to tell sign tell sign of people are here is the this has all been looted, but Right, here we go. Alright, so let's travel to the complex. Boom. And there we go. Another little uh, thing here. If you want to get out desperately, um, if you're in El Marzra, got a six-man team after you, or they're camping the last extract, and you need to get something out, you can go to any of the Koshi Complex entrances. And when you get to this point here, where it's just like the blank screen, just Alt F4 or close the game, and you'll extract with all your stuff. Um, so if you do need to get out, um that's another good extract still works all right so we've got all our guns we have all our guns this time nice thank you game thank you game for working all right so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find two keys and they're always guaranteed to spawn it's just trying to find exactly where they do spawn now the first one's going to be in this first door when we get into this first door entrance that is where the first one is going to be found so when you come through here you can keep getting fresh air so you don't need a rebreather around here all right but basically it's going to be in either one of these kind of rooms around here so we just want to swim around and you can loot around here if you want to. I'm not going to bother because I want to just cut as much of the time off as possible finding. And I would mostly advise doing the same thing. You don't want to spend too much time here because it gives you more time to take out the boss with uh, any threat of anyone coming. But um, just swim around and look for a little blue key, which could be laying about in certain places. It's never. I don't think it's guaranteed to be in a... A certain place all the time i've have found it in um certain places so oh ammunition box i will grab just in case we run out of ammo i'm gonna go over here and see if it's in the same place i found it before no so i've been finding it in that bed before just laying on the bed there but it's not there this time so it is going to be a random place but it will and i it, oh here it is so this is it. the barracks exit key A. That's the item you want to look. Grab that. And then we're good to keep on going. All right. So follow the arrows. You see these red arrows. This is showing you where they need to go. So just follow these arrows. Once you've found the key, the key can also be in this area too. Basically, the key can spawn anywhere around this area until you get up to this step here. All right. So you see the arrow. There's an ammo box there or a weapon box. And you step up here. You, may, you need to make sure that you have the first key before you get to this area here. All right. And then we can go into the next part. So let's take out all the uh, AI here. It's not too much here. You just get out your shotgun. All right. Fail hard. <laughs> With the... Uh, watch the chip mines, by the way. You know, just a PSA here. We are definitely going to have to be careful now. Right. Is there any more AI? I don't think there is. Right. So the thing we want to do now is when you come through from here to here, you want to be and see this little this little box here, right? And what we're going to do is just going to put a mine on it or C4 or whatever you have on you. Just plant it here. And it's going to blow open this. Now, if you haven't got anything with you, if you've got a mine or anything, you can just disable one of these. You got the C4 over there, and that'll give you C4. All right. So now we're through here. This is where the rebreather is going to come in handy. So I'm going to get it out. You just activate it by pressing L1 and R1 for con controller. And you can then just press your trigger, your shoot key, to activate whenever you need to. So we're going to go in, and we're just going to search around here for the second, um, second key. It's, again, it's going to be in a random location. 
And this is where you will need the rebreather. Now, the first few rooms, I like to just go back and forth so I don't waste the rebreather. So I, could, I, know, I saw in that first room I wasn't there, so I'm just going to go back and forth. And then I'm going to go back in. We're now going to go to the second area. Have a little look about. We don't need night vision goggles, by the way. Something you won't need. Going to quickly go in here. Have a little look in here. No, it's not in here. I'm not going to use the rebreather now. So I can keep on going. We're going to keep on looking. Again, we're looking for uh, this is a little blue key highlighted somewhere. Going into the next area. Right, having a look around here. They can be, like I said, anywhere. So just look at all the little corners. And it's easy to see, so you won't miss it. It's just like you see, you'll see a little highlighted blue um, item somewhere. That is, um, by the way, the Heat and Madness blueprint. You'll always find that down here in some random part of the uh, area here. So we're going to go over here now. Not around here. Nope. It's either then into one of these two rooms up ahead then. So you can go into the first room through this little crack here. Have a little look around here. No, it looks like it's not here. So it's most probably, well, it should be 100% be in this next room. This is the last one we need to check. So there it is right here. Let's take the last one of the rebreathers. And then there it is, barracks key in. So let's pick that up and uh, swim out. And that is the two keys we need. And there we go. Now, once we've got this, we can now head in. So watch the trip wires. Don't pull a me from the last game. We're going to just have a nice little approach or prone or sorry. Make sure you go prone. So we clear that and then we follow the arrow downwards. We've got the key. All the keys so this one is just basically once you jump down from here look down to the door to your right hand side we can skip all this we just go down to the door right hand side then we go to the second door here and then we go right and then we look upwards we can get some more fresh air then we go again i would again i encourage you not to loot everything just leave everything alone because it means um you have more time before other people who could be in the area who may try and get into this area I have so you want to get there as fast as possible um and we are going to be bypassing it the hardest parts like so so now we're going to just run through here through here all right and then you just keep on going leaving all the little doors along the way until you come to this area here all right so we're coming through this area it's called the factory let's start taking out some of the bots around here but basically when you come through here you want to run over towards this area here where it says shop and this is where you can go purchase anything here so i'm going to just buy a load of plates gonna buy another sulfur vibe actually gonna buy two sulfur vibes and a load of plates all right i'm gonna buy an ammunition box so we now got a load of ammunitions um a load of plates stuff like that yeah right that's why that's why i advise bringing you know doing that thing now when you come out of the shop you just want to run now over to where you see the the orange lights over here you see like these window planes all around here and you want to just run I, i'd leave the pve just run until you come through these doors and this is where the shotgun is going to come in handy and um go to town all right okay so i'm not going to really grab anything here again you don't want to be looting too much you just want to be killing as much of the pve as possible and as fast as possible because we just want to clear it right use cover as much as possible with the shotgun yeah just keep just keep to cover reload when it before you engage onto the second bits use and cover as much as possible you can obviously use the if you have an assault rifle with you too can come in handy Gonna go up here. 
I'm dying. We're getting shredded. And like I said, I'm just using cover. You can see here, I'm just using cover, plating. I'm not committing to myself here. Um, again, I'm just using cover, pushing up as much as I can against the PVE, reloading when I can. Yeah, picking up any plates along the way. Moving into the second pit. This is why we also got the ammunition boxes with us so we don't run out of ammo. Took a few of them out. I'm going to just re, re, you know, retreat. Play it up. Can you see how I use the cover? Just using cover as much as possible. There's uh, plates. Not plates, sorry. Ammunition box here. Got some more ammo. There we are. Handy. More dead. There's another one here. Lovely old job. Play it up again. And as you can see, this shotgun is just doing wonders against all the bots. All right. Like so. Moving around. Moving through. So once we get to here, we're pretty uh, pretty golden, to be honest. You shouldn't be running into uh, anything, you know, any more PVE too much. Like, that was the hardest part. That there was literally the hardest part for you. Okay, and this is the area where Rhino and the sniper is going to be. Now, you don't want to really venture in too much into here because it then just starts to spawn all the AI, and that's what you do not want to do. But if you're going to, what you're trying to aim for and where you're trying to put the bomb drone is around this area, up this like ledge around here. The sniper's going to be around this area here, and you'll see it when we pop the bomb drone out. There's going to be two um, things highlighted there's going to be the rhino, and there's going to be the sniper. All right, and that's all you're going to see is the rhino and the sniper. Um, the one at the bottom is going to be the Rhino. The one at the top is going to be the Sniper. And that's who we are going to be looking for. So again, don't venture too much in there. Um, I'm just going to check behind us, make sure there's no PV coming behind us. I don't think there is, but now we're all good. We're golden. Wait around here. We're going to bomb drone. All right, moving in. You can see it's highlighted them. You want to go high in the air to avoid old uh, Rhino. You want to run over here. Go up to him. Explode him. You can see here, it says 210. As long as you get like that XP, you you killed him. That's the sniper done. The only two AI in here are the bosses. You have one on the ground, which is Rhino. And you have one on the top, which was the sniper. And we killed the sniper. And that's literally... How you do? You have now unlocked the stealth vest. You do not have to do any more. And I'm going to show you this by literally going up to the rhino and just dying. We might see if we can kill him, but I, I'm not really fast. Um, I just want to die. All right, so we're going to go up to him. Let him round us. We, we, okay, we killed him. I mean, we just went up to him and stuffed the, uh, the gun into his face. There we are. Let's just re res up. I show you, we'll res up if we can make it to uh, to the room. We can just to show you, but I'm not. It doesn't really have to. If you do, if you do want to go and loot the body for the sniper, you would go through this uh, green doors, by the way, and you can kind of just diffuse it here. Just crates underneath all the uh, things here. Crates underneath this one. You see all the little lights, don't you? Like I said, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to show you if you're interested what you get for killing the sniper. That's someone else in the complex trying to extract, by the way. Avoided all this. Going around to here. Crates to here. And there he is, dead. This is his uh, body. 
it always be at his little uh his little area around here as you can loot the ones if you want to you got the note the secure room key is if you want to get the actual um case this opens up this area here right so you can just go to this area now and insert those keys all right and then in here there's another loot room all right so in here you can kind of just loot up if you wanted to if you did want to plan to get a night you can loads of goodies in here there's the weapon case if you do want to get the weapon case out Ultra one, be advised. Threats are moving. Ultra one, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. and there we go that is that is it i'm just gonna go and kill myself now just because i want to show you you know that you don't actually need to survive Your survival streak. Redeploy and secure another one. There we go. So it's gonna leave the match. Skip this. Go back to mission objectives. And what you'll see is under the upgrades area, go to your bounty board, scroll down, and if you've done it correctly, if it's worked, when you scroll down to like um here like the second one it's like the second one down there might be a few more down because i've done a few um ticks off but you'll be, you'll see like workbench basically and uh i've just actually completed workbench discount one that was i i was three out of the four um no i was two out of the four funny enough to um you know for the workbench discount and uh, because we killed sniper and rhino it's now unlocked workbench discount three two but you can see here you'll see the uh, stealth plate carrier is ticked and that is it that is how you do it um so let me know in the comment section down below if this has uh, helped you let me know if you managed to do it yourself and uh what we're going to do tomorrow is um i'm going to show you how to really easily kill the wilson all right in b21 because that's going to be pretty uh that's another one you may want to unlock is the, the comms vest um, it's always handy to have a comms vest too and um you know depending on what you when you start looting if you find an say encrypted hard drive first you can at least then make yourself a comms vest for example right so i'm going to show you how to unlock the comms vest it is actually really easy and uh don't be discouraged because it's building 21 i'm going to show you a nice easy way of doing so all right and then also on that video i'm going to show you how to um do a regain and unlock the you know and, and find the parts for the stealth vest or the comms vest all right i was originally going to put that in this video but i think what i'll do is i'll leave it for the b21 video because it's going to be so short in terms of how fast you can kill the wilson um it would be literally like two three minutes like tops that's how fast you'll be able to kill wilson um so because of, because of that i will then include the regain video in that video tomorrow so look out for that tomorrow anyway guys thank you so much for watching and uh, i hope you I hope this helps you and i'll see you for some more dmz tomorrow thank you so much guys